Hello my beautiful, beautiful Libra friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. We're here for a new love reading for you, whether it's an old love coming back for a fresh start or somebody brand new. So let's see what we have here. We have the overall energy. Ooh, you are chopping wood. Chances are you are very unlikely to want somebody back from the past with that chopping wood. Libra, we have breathe, breathe. <laughs> Friends of mine from Europe is pronounced breathe as breathe. Very cute, actually. And co-create. Well, Libra, there you are in your reading. You really want someone who's going to be part of a team to create something of value in your life. Right now, it looks like some of you are meditating, you know, doing some breathing rituals, and it's very good for your health, so lovely energy. So let's see now, Libra, what do we have for our Libra friends in love? Okay, one more shuffle for Libra. I am broadcasting from Chicago. Put in the comments below, if you'd be so kind, tell me where you're from, where are you watching the video from? It's always fun to see that I used to travel the world for my job, and I, I just miss everywhere. Okay, oh, look at Libra. Legacy, love, Ten of Pentacles, energy. Going for the gold standard in love by traditional uh, measurements. We see this is Virgo energy. You you know, it's like a self-made couple who creates abundance, who has a lot of success. They are very happy and joyful with all this yellow energy, sort of like sunny disposition. We see these beautiful um, energies of the dog, which is loyalty to people who are sharing responsibilities for children, for work life. It is fantastic energy. Right now, Libra, you are in hermit mode really thinking about the past and, and manifesting the future look at that you might be online dating with that page of swords energy um, let's see okay so it looks like right away Libra you might be in the energy of just wanting to have fun for the time being looking for a partner who might be it's Sagittarius energy this is uh, Gemini energy Virgo energy and uh, Virgo energy but we see that right now you may not you're really looking for somebody who's going to be exceptional to co-create so you're not going to settle down quickly we get the page of swords again or the page Age of Wands, throwing caution to the winds right now. Ooh, look at that energy. You are single, ready to mingle. Very attractive, pre-empress energy. Everybody would have a reason to want to go out with you. Highly desirable. The judgment card says that you've released something in the past. It really is. This is Scorpio energy. So you've released some idea, some attitude, a person. Chopping wood is oftentimes just doing the work we need to do to move forward. But it really does mean also you may have been releasing somebody who was a player uh, in your in your life. So we, oh Libra, there you are in your reading justice card, right in the heart of the reading. You are going to insist on proper treatment, the truth, the whole truth, and only the truth, and the energy of balance. And that does rule the seventh house of marriage. And you know that Libra about your chart. Nice. I like it. Justice and judgment also tells me that many of you Filed paperwork for divorce, which is under the justice card, is one of the meanings. And judgment card would be the final um, dissolution of marriage, at least in the United States. That's what it's called, and, and I resonate with that. I find it works as a professional reader. It's a very effective interpretation. So let's see what we have here. Five of coins. So a lot of you feel as though you've been left in the cold and you may be chopping the wood on somebody you know, who didn't treat you right. Look at this Gemini energy. I love it. The lover's card. You want a very passionate, very sexy, very intense relationship with someone with whom you can easily communicate. You want somebody, again, look at this is very interesting energy. Co-creating, we have an owl and a leopard, two, two entities that are very, very different. And we see a lot of difference here, you know, in terms of it could be cultures, countries, backgrounds, ethnicities, life experiences. But you are very intrigued by somebody who would be maybe a, a very different type of person, but somebody who's also very loving and balanced. Now, it does look like you may have someone, a lot of younger people may be attracted to you. 
we get that I think with two pages here in this player energy Libra I just think you attract everybody <laughs> I just think that no wonder you're sitting here like a video editor going chop 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 cut that out cut that out keep this in and you know you're really going for the gold here it's great energy that you're manifesting uh, you know, you just don't have a lot of trust in a super big age difference because you think when pigs fly. But you do have someone with Pisces energy coming towards you, Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy, uh, Virgo energy. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have the devil energy, Capricorn energy. So there could be somebody very, very alluring, but somebody who could be controlling or manipulative. You know, the devil card usually, the toxicity that I see as a professional reader and somebody who's been doing this for many years, whenever I get the devil card, I usually will ask a client, has your person... <clears throat> ever accused you of being very controlling and I almost always get a yes answer to that yes they've said that to me but it's not true so what's interesting about this energy Libra is it it's usually vice versa a lot of times the person who says oh you're so controlling is actually very controlling themselves so it does look like sometimes you struggle in relationships with attracting people who would really like to sort of capture you like a butterfly you know and uh, they could be very subtly controlling but it is Capricorn energy so let's see what we have here why do we have the chop wood why are you chopping wood here let's see what is it that you're chopping what are you chopping out of your life it's a very good energy so you're chopping out people who are going to require you to heal well that's a really smart option right why would you want to attract anybody into your life that's going to cause you to be in the fetal position you are also chopping people out of your life that are just looking for abundance and are too money driven you want somebody who's very balanced yep there we go justice energy again so although this is the same card so the overall energy is you the ten of coins and the ten of coins but when we look at chopping wood you don't you want the person to be balanced like they are here you want someone who manifests like you do because you manifest very powerfully but it does show us that that person must be balanced you don't want somebody who's coming in with a lot of emotional baggage focused just on money you absolutely want somebody who is you know who, who's more level-headed who's more balanced in their life okay so what do we have here in terms of this hermit card what is it that you're soul searching about because it does appear that you are doing major soul searching well you want to find your happiness the empress energy is venus and love and everything beautiful and abundant and gorgeous and happy and you know for those of you who want children this can be an indicator of you trying to figure out how to get there but you're already there you're already pre-empress energy so you know a partner and you're really in empress mode here um empresses are typically married women and um the nine of pentacles is the empress version of the single person why do we have the energy of the page of swords here yeah you're really going to look at people and scrutinize them very carefully to see that they're telling the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so I do think for some of you, if you're intensely interested in somebody that you meet, you're going to hop on that truth finder button on the internet. Why is the, the Knight of Wands here, the Five of Coins, somebody that left you in the cold, somebody that was really made you feel less than when, and it's spiritually just a misnomer. That's not true. The Five of Coins is when two people are walking in front of a church in the snow with no shoes and no coat, non-crutches, and they simply don't see that the church that's right above them, shining brightly, has is a place of warmth. So what I'm seeing here is that you may have let the this person impact you in a way in which you are you're healing you're definitely healing and you're definitely uh, leveling your emotions out so that they can't get the best of you so you're getting out of that energy which is really you know it's going to be very important for the happiness of your love life so we also have heart of cups somebody coming in 
somebody who's going to replace all of that negativity with being someone who's very nurturing, very kind, very loving, somebody that you could really pour your heart out to. It's Cancerian energy, so you may be attracting somebody who loves deeply home, family, hearth. Very similar in many ways to you know this energy it takes usually the a queen of cups energy to manifest this amount of love in a life you know of value and of um you know that you seem to want that's what i'm getting is your values not mine okay so we see the heart of swords there's a queen of swords there you are libra throwing caution to the winds you just want somebody who makes sense in your life you know that's i call it the judge judy card that's an american judge on tv who's tough as nails but very generous very kind very loving very balanced but boy can she spot a liar and she calls him out on the spot i don't don't see you doing that but what I do see is that you're only going to throw caution to the winds when you feel like the person's honest at that point somebody's coming in cancerian energy again somebody wants a victory with you they're coming in very fast very hot you know they have they have they do not have any burdens they've shucked their burdens so they're not bringing anything difficult into the relationship the eight of coins this is a person who really is willing to do the work somebody who's grounded stable virgo energy if they say they're showing up at five o'clock on friday for a date they will be there and they don't change their mind all the time. I really like the fact that this person is very stable. You know, they're not constantly back and forth. So that is the energy of, um, you know, it's air sign energy. So it's Gemini energy. It really says that you're, per you know, you're not going to also listen to nonsense. You'll just close it out and move on. So the Two of Swords is when you don't want to hear nonsense, and it shows that that's the overall energy. I like it. It's very powerful for you. The Nine of Pentacles energy, the Three of Pentacles, you want somebody, you may meet somebody at work, somebody with whom you collaborate with, somebody with whom you do a creative project. I often, often see that as being um, like redecorating, redesigning space, you know, working with an engineer or an architect to create something. But when we look at the Three of of coins it's a trinity and in astrology we have uh two one person in love another person in love and the third entity is actually the synergetic relationship and it becomes part of actually how we as astrologers read the energy you know there's uh what what you and me and baby makes three but the baby is a relationship or it could be more could be both so what do we have here for the judgment card for you, Libra, for new love coming in? You absolutely are going to release anybody who is unstable emotionally. We see the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. The hallmark of the King of Cups is, I like to, there's a movie called The Perfect Storm, and George Clooney goes out as a captain of the ship, and they, there's a perfect storm, and no matter how good he is, you know, he struggles to help his crew survive. But this is a this is the captain that brings the crew back intact. This is a captain of great confidence. You want somebody with a Scorpio energy who has, you know, really been through things in life that are very significant and you want somebody who has that stable uh very sort of calm nature even when the chips are down you can count on this person to have your back you know you'll be able to breathe you can co-create with them this is a person who's managing their emotions it's also a favorite uncle a brother it's somebody that everybody pours their soul out to it's the person you go to in the family that is going to give you sage advice and never tell anybody else about the conversation movement of cups look at that oh my god this looks like baby look at that looks like mom dad and a baby movement of cups so is a knight of cups so this person is going to be very romantic they're going to put their heart on their sleeve you know there's there's this energy that in the past they too have had heartache and um, they come in with this wheel of fortune when the timing is right your person comes in if you were in separation with somebody, somebody comes back, a person comes back in your life that does offer you an apology. The Seven of Swords and the Justice card. Well, you're not having any liars. You know, that's that Judge Judy. She can spot a liar a moment, you know, just miles away. And 
you're just not going to do that. The Innocence of Cups, interesting energy. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. You may be attracting, again, somebody who's significantly younger, but somebody who may have great mastery of their emotions. So we also get somebody who probably wants children. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy, as is a King of Cups. You may be having a reunion with somebody that, you know, has left your life a long time ago. Um, but the Eight of Cups is when somebody walks away from something that was not really for them. And that's what you will do. You'll find yourself, if you're not in the right energy, you're just not going to make a choice. But I'm seeing this as, I really like this energy. The reason I like it so much is it shows that your person has also, you've walked away, you have walked away from somebody who was dishonest, uh, somebody who was immature, but you are, this person, somebody wants to come back. But you're of two minds here, you know. Let's see what else is in there. What else can we see about this person that wants to come back into your life? You know, they're sort of making a request. It's like, can I call your secretary and make an appointment for lunch? Because you do have a wall up with them. You, you are not in uh, any kind of disillusionment about them. You really understand the scoop. You understand that this person is likely someone who betrayed you and that you're, you've closed out the cycle. So I do see for those of you who may have someone knocking on your door, banging on the door, going, let me in, door is closed. <laughs> they had the option to behave correctly and they didn't. We get the unicorn energy of the fool card. I love it. You really want to take a leap of faith on something new, but you're going to hold back for now. You're not feeling very adventurous right now, but you will, you know, when you find your person that you feel connected with emotionally, two of cups, you will, and somebody who tells the truth, that's going to be the person you choose. That is going to be the choice card, the lover's card, the soulmate card that, you know, you are absolutely, you may be very surprised by a king of pentacles energy, a Taurus energy. So Libra, Taurus is not necessarily somebody that I think you think about on a regular basis as a prototype. But again, I'm seeing sort of almost opposites attracting here, co-creating with somebody who might be different from yourself, somebody who's very grounded. Ooh, there's a truth teller. This person has a lot to say to you. We also get the energy that they will not move overly fast. We see them um, taking a, the slow road, the slow path towards you. We also get that this person's a bit possessive, so, you know, go slowly. And this person is probably very successful in their career life. This person always feels like they're the smartest room and smartest boss in, or smartest person in the room. Did you notice I, I just said they they feel as though they're the boss. So, you know, that is the energy that I see. So you're going to just really watch this person. The Nine of Cups, though, they have a really good sense of humor. There's a lot of joy and laughter. They like to introduce you to friends. They'll do that right away. And we do get the movement of wands. So it shows that I really think you're actually coming in with this sort of more player energy than the people who are coming into your life. Because Taurus energy, you know, it can be player, but it's typically not. Uh, so I really get you being playful, enjoying the moment, living in the moment, living in the experience with this person. Let's see, when pigs fly, I don't think you're quite ready. Many of you are just not ready to settle down with one person right now, the moon card, yeah. You're, that Pisces energy is something you feel uncomfortable with. If somebody's too mysterious or they tell you that they love you too soon, you don't trust it, you know. You want somebody who's very balanced, that Sagittarius energy. So, you know, what we're seeing here, here is that you want someone who can give to the relationship in sort of an equal and opposite, which is balancing the scales. Temperance is balancing the scales. Justice is balancing the scales. So Spirit of Pentacles energy is coming in, um, you know, with that very nurturing. You want somebody who's very nurturing, very reliable. Again, very powerful masculine energy coming in here, Libra. You know, you have the King of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles. Um, and so you look like, you know, attracting two kings is pretty darn good reading. We have the devil card. What the heck is this about? Ah, oh, 
<laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay. So you have now the Leo King coming in. Somebody who's very feisty. It looks as though they made, for some of you, you're playing the player a little bit. You know, playing it cool, not too serious. But you also are attracted to sexy people around you. This person may have made a couple of efforts to sort of engage you in relationship and then it looks as though they don't win your heart they're not able to get your attention and we have a leo king coming back in here very stable <laughs> like okay that didn't work with my beautiful libra friend you know i thought libra was a pushover hell no 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 you're not a pushover at first your your take on them is like yeah i don't know if i'm gonna accept your cup of love seven of wands sort of being very defensive with them because that you feel as though they've pay, played a little bit fast and loose with you they haven't been consistent enough you want to have somebody who makes an investment when they move up to king energy that is an investment there we go an investment that could include marriage so lots of very strong you have three the, when we get libra we get the the um justice card that's a marriage energy because it's legal contracts and seventh house of marriage ten of coins is traditional marriage a legacy marriage and um, a marriage in which you share belief systems and want the higher good and Hierophant energy Taurus energy a lot of Taurus here so some of you may be attracting a Taurus person so sending you love from Chicago send some back tell me where you're from and I hope to see you again in another video thank you so much Libra bye bye